hi guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here you're welcome don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for your constant support so guys in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys how to cut and sew this dress from beginning to the end please make sure you watch the video to the end and don't forget to subscribe like comment and share so to make this dress these are the materials that i'll be working with my sewing thread elastic for the sleeve the zip the lining and also the fabric so for this fabric i have four yards here so guys in my previous video i shared with you guys how to draft this fitted dress pattern so i'll be making use of that pattern for this for today's tutorial so if you haven't seen the video yet please check it out and make sure you watch it so you can understand how to draft fitted uh, dress pattern so the first thing is to fold your fabric into two so after folding this into two i'm going to take my pattern and then place it on top of it like this so I, i'll place it on top of my fabric like this so I will use my pin to hold them together so for this dress I'm not going to be using all the length on my pattern paper I'm only going to be using 23 inches length from here. So the 23 inches is plus one inch allowance. The measurement I need is 22. Then I add one inch allowance to it. Make it, that make it 23 inches. So 23 inches is the length I'll be working with. So what I'm going to do now is to cut this out. So before I remove the pattern paper, I'm going to mark out the bust line, the waist line, so it's the bust line and the waist line, and then I remove my pattern paper. So I'm going to connect the two points together. So now I'm going to mark out the dots. So I'm going I'm going to come down by one inch on my bust line. And then I measure four inches, which is my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two. So four inch. So I'm going to measure my four inches down here. And then on the waistline, I measure same thing, four inches. And then the bottom part of it, four inches as well. So I'm going to connect the three points together. And then on the waistline, I, I'm going to come out by half an inch and also come out on this side by half an inch. So I'm going to connect all these points together. So 
So this is what I have here. So this is for my that. So if you like, I can also transfer everything that I have this side. I can transfer it to the other side. So before I do that, I'm just going to notch out every line that I have. I'm going to notch them out like this. And also did that. So what I'm doing now is just transferring everything I have this side. I'm transferring everything on this side as well. So you can see how nice that that line is looking already. So I'm going to set this aside and then work on the back part. So for the back piece, I'm also going to take my pattern paper and place it on my fabric like this. Plus my zip allowance as well. So I will use my pin to hold them together. So I already went out to cut out my 23 inches length for, for the back part. So I'm just going to trace whatever I have on this pattern paper on the fabric. So I will cut it out on my fabric like this. And after that, I'm going to mark out everything I have on this pattern paper. I will mark it out on my fabric like this. So now I'll connect the points together. So now I'm marking out my zip allowance. So for the back that I'm also going to divide my bust pan measurement, which is eight inches divided by two, and repeat same thing on the waistline. So on the bust line, I'm going to come down by one inch, and then I'll connect all the points together. So I repeat the same thing, I'll go in by half an inch on the waistline and also come out by half an inch on the waistline. So connect all the points together. So like I did on the front piece, I'm also going to transfer everything I have here on the other side of the, of, the, of the fabric as well. So I'm going to divide the back part into two. So this is the that. So 
So this is the front and this is the back. So I'm going to set all of this aside and then work on the ruffles at the bottom of the dress. So to get the bottom ruffles, I'm going to subtract whatever length, whatever length measurement I'm working with. So here I'm working with 42 inches. The full length of the dress is 42. So I'm going to subtract what I have here from 42 inches. So whatever that is left is what I will use to cut my rough through. And for the gathers of the rough fulls, depends on how full you want it. For example, now here I have 20 inches. So I'm going to multiply that 20 inches by 3. Because I want my rough fulls to be very, very full. I want the gathers to be very full. But if you don't want yours to be very, very full, you just need to multiply whatever you have here times 2. For this dress, I'm going to multiply whatever I have here times 3. That's what we determine how full I want my gathers to be. So here I have this fabric here. So I'm going to fold this into two. And see if the length is okay for my raw food. So here this length is 22.5 which is very perfect for the length I'll be working with. So since I have 20 inches here, I'm going to multiply it by 3. So which gives me 60 inches. So since I'm working with 60 inches measurement, here I'm cutting both the front and the back together. So I'm going to measure out 60 inches on this fabric. So you can see what I have here. Like I said, if you don't want your gathers to be very full, that means you would, you would multiply whatever you have here by 2. But because I want mine to be very, very full, so I multiply it by 3. That's what gives me this ruffle that I have here. I hope you guys can see it very well. So this is just for the front. So I cut two pieces of this. So one for the front and one for the back. So you can see how full it's looking already. If you want it to be more full than this, then you multiply it by four. So you go with any measurement of your choice. But here is just by three. I multiply this by three. If you want it to be more fuller than this, then you multiply it by four. And if you don't want it to be very, very full, you multiply what you have here by two. So I'm going to set all this aside and then cut the lining. So for the lining, I'm just going to place my fabric on top of it and then cut it out. <music> to take them to the same machine and start sewing them together so the first thing is for me to hold the dart first so i'm going to hold the four that the back that and also the front that and after that i will join the two the shoulders together i'll show you guys after joining them so guys this is what i have after holding the dart and also join the shoulder so the next thing for me to do now is to join the sides together so i'm going to measure my ball circumference divided by four then whatever i have i'm going to mark it down 
and also on the waist and divide my hip measurement divided by four and mark it down here. So I will repeat the same thing on the lining as well. So I'm going to take this to the same machine and join the sides together. I will join the two sides, both the front and the back. So I will join them together. And also I will repeat the same thing on the lining as well and join the two sides together. So the front and the back, I will join the front and the back together and also same thing on the other side. So this is what I have after I was done joining the two sides together and I also went ahead and turned the neck with the lining. So I also joined the sides of the fabric. So the next thing for me now is to stitch to hold this, the lining and the fabric together with my sewing machine. So I'm going to stitch them together all through the hand and also I will join the sides. I will join the sides of this as well. I will go ahead and join the two sides together. So for the ruffle at the bottom, you can either use gathers or pleat it. So for this one, I'm going to pleat it. I'm going to pleat this ruffle to the dress. So I will show you guys what it looks like after I was done joining them together. So guys, this is what I have after I was done joining them together. You can see how nice it's looking already. Like this dress is very nice and it's very neat. So if you follow my steps one after the other, you will definitely get this. Just follow the video carefully and then you will get this. So guys, we're almost done. The next thing now is to cut the sleeve. So there is no full tutorial on how to cut this sleeve. It's just a normal basic sleeve. That I cut to be bigger than my actual sleeve measurement because of the elastic I'll be adding to the bottom part of the sleeve. So I already did a tutorial on how to cut a basic sleeve pattern. I will link the I'll put the link in the description box. So please check it out. That's what you see me cutting out now. There is no pattern or anything for this sleeve. I'm just cutting out. I'm just using my free hand to cut the sleeve. So guys, after cutting out the sleeve, I'm just going to take this to the sewing machine and then insert my elastic into the sleeve at the end of the sleeve. So like I said, the sleeve is going to have elastic at the bottom of the sleeve. So that's what you see me showing you guys now. So guys, I already went ahead to overlock my dress. If you don't have overlock machine, it's fine. Just make sure you make your dress is as neat as possible. So the last thing for me is to attach the zip to the dress. That's what you see me showing you guys now. So I'm going to attach the zip to the dress. So guys, that is the end of this video. You can see how nice it is. This is me showing you the sleeve, showing you every part of the dress. Like I'm really, really in love with this dress. Please make sure you try this dress out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it to the end. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so you get to be the first to know anytime I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching to the end, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.